I'm back to our drawing because we've drawn lightly remember don't forget to draw lightly we can now start to add feathers where we think they may be let's come down to here and I'm going to start to put feather like shapes on his hands and they're kind of like long feathery shapes you might want to do this, you might choose that your Velociraptor would be better covered in scales like the traditional sort of T-Rex. The birds were already starting to evolve at this when the Velociraptors were roaming the earth and they reckon that the Velociraptor was part of the bird's evolution. So I'm giving him feathers. I'm going to give him a few feathers on the top of his arm as well. And I'm going to have a few little tufty bits coming off his hands. And then here, I'm going to come from this finger. There would be another finger showing here, but I quite like the idea of having feathers showing on his other falling. And we can draw those. You can be as complicated with this as you like. But I find doing feathers like this works really nicely. I want to have a go. Show how they flop. The feathers are quite floppy. There we go. Looks like he's got feathery arms. And I'm going to use my rubber here. Something you won't see me do very often. But I'm using my faint line as a guide because I reckon... His back legs would have had feathers like that. And we can give him a few feathers on the back edge of there too. And you can have a go at breaking up your line a bit like that. I reckon he'd have had a bit of feather action going on in his head. So I'm going to do a few little tufty feathers. And we, you can add as many up here as you like, makes him look more like a sort of turkey or a chicken. And he probably had feathers running down the back line, as, and you can do it there too. You can just rub the line out a bit so you can only just see it. It's quite a useful technique, this, and then you can edit your drawing. That's really what a rubber should be used for. Because if you do, I think you start to lose the shape of his body a bit. So just be a little careful that you're not overdoing it. Kind of like that. I think that's working pretty well. I'm going to put a bit of detail on his foot to look like wrinkles because he's got skin, just like a bird has skin on his feet. That's pretty good. Pretty well, I think. And let's put a bit of feather action on the back of this leg here. Just like that. And then I reckon that his tail had a sort of feathery clump. On the back. And this sort of helped him to balance. Don't forget, it was still quite new walking on two legs terms of evolution. So the tail was used to balance and they reckon that the feathers would have come off the back of this lizard-like tail. Mm, liking that. Good. Okay, so in here, the 
I reckon he'd have some feathers on the back of his arm here. I'm just going to rub that out very quickly. Just like that. And then if you want to take your drawing a little bit further, you can add some more in here and then maybe add some tone. So you might want to start to shade in his mouth because it's darker in there. Try and make these teeth show up white by leaving those the white of the paper. Leave the tongue white. I'm doing this quite quickly, but you can you can shade this in nice and carefully. Like that. Get a bit of tone under there. Try not to shade in the teeth because you've drawn those in really carefully. Vicious, this guy. There you go. You can shade that a bit more carefully if you want to. And you can put some shading on the end of your nose. Maybe make this a bit darker in here. Maybe have a few more feathery bits coming off. It's like sort of zigzag, lightning shapes. Kind of showing the texture. I like it. Okay. And I think we'll leave it there. You can colour it. You can add black lines around your edges and then shade with a pencil. You could maybe use some watercolour on it, give it a try imagining what sort of colours he'd be. You can uh, let your imagination run wild. Would it be blues? I think he might be um, browns and greys, so he's camouflaged. Think of what hunters look like. Do hunters stand out? Or do they try and blend in so they can jump out and ambush their prey? Have a think about that and how the animal might look. Okay, bye for now.